Larry, how's it going? What's going on? You know Noah, and, yeah. and uh, Noah's bar mitzvah is coming up in a few weeks, and I'm really, uh, I want to do a bar mitzvah video. Oh, like we did last time. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. I would love to make a, a bar mitzvah video for you guys. And you're, you're a brilliant filmmaker, and it's going to be awesome. I'm just so excited about it, and I'm, you're really going to do it. Yeah, I would love to do it. And you know what? Um, what's your budget? Well, that's the, the one minor problem. The budget is, you know, times are tough right now. It's Whatever the budget is, doesn't matter what it is, I, I'm gonna make, I'll make a great movie for you. Glad you saw it that way. I appreciate it very much. Let me just check what I got here. My name is Noah Horwitz. I was born December 31st, 1995. Those are my parents, Larry and Dana Horwitz. One day they got married, and someday between then and now, I was born. Uh, my first early memory of Noah was him trying to get out six weeks early. Well, the uh... Noah was in Philly when he was supposed to be born, but we wanted to get back into having uh, they had a better deal on healthcare. And we wanted to go to Lenox Hill Hospital. So as we're driving through the toll booths on the uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike, uh, the guy I'm running trying to get trying to grab money and that, and I can't find any money. So the guy and Dana's in pain, she's screaming and hollering, and I said, Well, I, I'm having trouble finding change. The guy says, Just go, just go, just go. And Dana said, oh, that's great. You know, we got to do this more often. And then New Year's Eve day, there he was, my little Noah. I really like having a big family. I, I like spending time with my brothers, Aiden and Daniel, my sister, Molly, and my mom and dad. Also, I love my Bubby and Zayde, and I love spending time with my grandma and grandpa. Noah's always good looking. He had a problem, he was so good looking that even the nurses in the hospital, you know, didn't want to let Dana take the kid home. Uh, but then, and his brothers think he's really handsome. They, they think he's extremely handsome, that's all they talk about. Well, it's obviously not true, I mean, look at me. <laughs> Daniel, what are your first memories of your brother coming home from the hospital? I was kind of young then. <laughs> I was like one. What's your first memory of when Noah came home from the hospital? I wasn't alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't see him getting married someday. I mean, I see him getting married someday with um, one, three kids. What is your favorite thing about your brother Noah? Um, If you and Noah, 15, 20 years from now, ever went into business together, what kind of business do you guys think you would do? We would sell hats. I am proud of my Jewish heritage. My family, all six of us, are steeped in the Jewish tradition. Until now, my life was just fun and games, except of course for school. But now that I'm becoming a man, I had many questions that I needed to be answered. Rabbi, I'm 16 now and I, I feel like I'm gonna explode. I, I need to do something. Noah, the world is a large place, it has many possibilities. And I think you should go out and do whatever your heart is set on. You're right, I will. At first, music was my passion. Many people thought that I was naturally funny, so I did the comedy circuit. 
So the other day, I was at my bubby's house, and then my Z, then my bubby and my dad, they got into a huge yelling match. Which ended up landing me a job in Hollywood. Sehnsucht nach den Fernen Für den Aufbruch zu den Sternen Für das Abenteuer zu I had a couple of hit movies and a few minor flops. But after all that, I was told politics was the next step. When I returned home, I decided to run for mayor, and I won by a landslide. I promise to clean up Windsor and make it the greatest city in Canada. He's got a lot of uh, um, uh, Daniel in him. Um, I think there's, uh, uh, you know, a similarity in terms of uh, he's very sensitive. No one will protect his brothers if anybody, even though he'd like to beat the crap out of them, he would protect them from anybody else. So uh, he also, I, I watch when he talks to his uh, Zadie, and he's, uh, you know, very concerned and very sensitive, and he's uh, very thoughtful, and he likes to talk Yiddish to him for hours on end. Yes, Noah speaks Yiddish. Yeah, fluently. Noah, come here and, and give us some Yiddish. I only know Abyssal, but, uh... Kismintukis. I know Kismintukis, um, Ksmaksta, um... Shiksa, Shikr, um, Ashugana, Ashena Madel, um, Mittengas, words like that. My Zaydi mostly teaches me how to say mean things in Yiddish. <laughs> so that's where I am now. All my years at Hebrew school studying the Torah, traveling the world, and yet, I am not fulfilled. Okay, Tom, we need that pavilion over Olenda. I don't, I don't care what it takes, we need it by next week. Um, your job's at stake. I, I, I don't care, just get it done. <laughs> Vanessa, what? what? I'm on, oh, I'm on the cover of Time again? Thanks. Okay, Jane. Jane? The rabbi? The, oh, he's here? Okay, I'll make time. The rabbi, the, I need to talk to the rabbi. Make, I'll make some time. One thing that I've been thinking about from my bar mitzvah is that now that I'm going to be a bar mitzvah, all my sins are going to be mine and not my father's. But I'd rather have them still be his. Rabbi, I've, I've been the mayor for quite some time now, and I need something more spiritual. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Noah, you're a bright young man, and I think if you listen to what God has to say, you'll know what to do. Becoming a man is a real big deal to me. There's other responsibilities that I have to deal with, 
like putting on Tefillin and putting on Talis. And also now I'm going to be part of a minion. My bar mitzvah really makes me think about my future. And I think I should pursue my calling. Um, the things I'm looking forward to in life are finishing school, having a family, having kids, having a good career, and relaxing. What would you like to go into? Um, I don't know, something that can help people, maybe. Make a prediction for yourself. Um, I will be a very successful man. Doing what? Doing... I'll be... I'll be something in politics. Do you really believe that? I traveled the world, hoping that God would give me a sign. Noah, you're a bright young man, and I think if you listen to what God has to say, you'll know what to do. I knew then what I had to do. You have a gallery here of all your masterpieces. Children. What what is the current um what is the current uh, value at Sotheby's for uh, for Noah? Noah is priceless. It's very nice to have uh, Noah uh, here with us today because now he's a man and uh, and, uh, and I, which means I have to take him out to the bars. And I think I'll be keeping him home with me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can see the manhood in him coming out right now. He swears. A lot. Yeah, yeah like so a truck driver. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. Maybe he will be a truck driver. Who knows? I have, um, you know, dreams for him. Uh, possibly, uh, you know, fight for uh, the, the homeless and uh, be an advocate for the uh, for the people that need advocates. If I had to change one thing about Noah, what would I change? <laughs> his clothes, no, his hair. His face. No, guys. His... Noah. Noah is just perfect the way he is. I mean, Noah, what do you have to say for yourself? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.